you look at the NFC playoff picture, Seattle, Washington. You look at the Giants. Look at those teams, right? Hell, let's even go higher up in the standings. Let's have some fun with this. The Vikings, division leaders. Uh, Cowboys clinched the playoff berth. Second in their division, but different story. San Francisco division winners. And then you'll see whoever makes it out of the NFC South. And here's how I'm going to break this down to you, Jeff, and really everybody else. The Detroit Lions will make the playoffs not just because of their schedule, not just because of what the other team's schedules are or that they're playing very well. I read you this list. I read you Seattle at 7-7, seven and seven, the Commanders at 8-5-1. and one. I read you all these teams, the Giants... What do they have in common? I don't think they're playing better football than the Lions. And I don't think most of them look like playoff teams. When I think of a playoff team, Jeff, and feel free to intervene if I'm off here. When I think of a playoff team, I don't question your quarterback play. Now, look, there are some teams every year Let's that will get in, in with some par, subpar play, yeah. uh, quarterback play. It's, it happens. Justin Herbert didn't make the playoffs last year, right? Happens. But... Seattle, Washington, the Giants, and then there's the Lions. Who do I trust of the four? Oh, no question. No question, it's the Lions. And that's why they will make the playoffs, because they have a quarterback playing at an elite level, a Pro Bowl level, dare I say even a top 10 level at the moment. His numbers are undeniable. So I look at the Giants, and I think they have a really good head coach. And I think he's done way better than anybody could have expected. That was supposed to be a 4-5 win team. They're going to be in the playoffs. Year one. He's overachieving. I don't like Daniel Jones. I don't trust him. Washington. God bless Ron Rivera. One of the better guys in the NFL. Good head coach. Taylor Heineke. Carson Wentz. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. The offense is inconsistent. The run game is inconsistent. Okay, let's go to Seattle. Geno Smith. He looks like Geno Smith. Now that he started enough games, you're like, oh, yeah, that's that's why you're not a starter in the NFL. Good backup, though. And then there's the Lions that are playing with a, in my opinion, a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback right now. Absolutely. The Lions are going to make the playoffs because between those four teams, they are the most playoff team. They, God, I hate using this word, but they feel like a playoff team. They're playing like a playoff team. And I don't get that vibe with Seattle. I'm not getting that vibe with the Giants, and I'm definitely not getting it with the Commanders. The Lions, to me, of those four, that, that, is, that is what a playoff team looks like. They can win in a shootout. They can win a close game. They can win winning the turnover battle. They can now suddenly win losing it. Mm-hmm. They can force takeaways. They can not turn the ball over they can run effectively hell they can throw it everywhere they can do a lot of things really well and yes that is with a limited defense not a great defense not even a good defense but it's been pretty damn good these last few weeks they're gonna make the playoffs because of those four they are the most complete they are the most playoff ready in my opinion yeah no question and i think the point you made about how many ways the offense can beat you is the big one for me because it does not matter. That offensive line travels. They can run the ball. If you slow down the run, you could put the ball in Jared Goff's hands. And we've seen success this year doing that against the Jags. Completely uh, decimating the, Jag, uh, the Jags with Jared Goff having, what, over 40 pass attempts. So, again, it's, it's how many different ways this Lions team can beat you. And that's what makes them so dangerous. And on top of good quarterback play, I look at offensive coordinators. Because you only can cook with the ingredients you've been given. And if you look at Ben Johnson and you have Jared Goff, that offensive line, Amon Ra, DJ Chark, Jamison, Josh Reynolds, they, they, and now Brock Wright's emerging, they have weapons. Jamal, DeAndre Swift. I trust Ben Johnson down the stretch moving forward because you know he's going to have a game plan um, compared to other teams where you, you have limited either a quarterback or a limited offense. Like the Giants, for example, they can really only beat you one way. Same with the Commanders. I mean, you're not going to get in a shootout with the Commanders. You're, you're just not. The Seattle Seahawks, that's a team that could beat you with how well Geno has been playing, especially played early in the year when he faced the Lions. 
but that's just not the case. I, I, I trust Jared Goff more. I trust Ben Johnson and what he can scheme up more, his preparation. And with how this team's trending offensively, just doing enough to win. That's that's the bottom line. Executing when it matters. And you saw that against the Jets. Brock Wright, the play call, and the execution following uh, the catch for Brock Wright. Making an insane play to win the game. That's that's why I trust this team. Is how many ways the offense can beat you, Adam. Because that's, you look at other teams like Commanders or, or the Giants. If you completely shut down the run, you put those teams in, in predicaments. The Lions, we've seen multiple times this year, teams slow down the run and they could still dominate because of what that offensive line can, can do in pass pro. Jared Goff's played some of the best football of his career. So moving forward, this, this Lions team's dangerous. There's a reason why nobody wants to play them because they can beat you in so many different ways. So I, I'm getting a mixed bag of reactions right now, currently in the Woodward Sports chat, right? A lot of people uh, either, you know, they could lose out and I'll still be happy with the year, or, uh, you know, they could lose two of the next three, or they may go two and one and miss out. Uh, guys, you will be the favorite against Carolina and Chicago. And Green Bay, depending on how they play, probably a point and a half two point yeah, just dog. because they're at home just right. because they're at home but that's about it the team you've seen over the last seven weeks to me is a more fair reflection than what you saw when your record only was one and six your record wasn't a fair indication of where you had been where your progress had led you to where your draft picks have taken you one and six was a, a excuse me a reflection of poor coaching, poor decision making, poor defensive plays, poor decision making from your quarterback. There's a lot of factors that go into that start. Yeah. But I again I I look at the Lions right now, Jeff. I look at Seattle. I look at the Commanders. I look at the Giants, and between the four teams, if I were to bet the mortgage on one team, that I had to trust to win a playoff game. Who are you betting your money on? The, I know who I'm putting my money on. I'm put, a team that can go on the road, offensive line, yeah. an offense that can win a shootout and win a close game? It's not even a debate. And on top of that, the team that's the most healthy. Because I think that's been a, a, another benefit of what the Detroit Lions have been able to do is compared to other teams. I mean, it's almost January. Teams are banged up. I mean, that, that's what you're dealing with. I mean, even facing the Jets, not having Quinn and Williams, not having Mike White. The Lions had those injuries early in the year. They were missing you know, key players. DJ Chark for a handful of games. You, you had Amon Ra out uh, really two games, including the time he left early and got a concussion. You, you missed other players. DeAndre Swift. I mean, there, there are so many different injuries. A couple offensive linemen, um, except for the tackles, obviously. But that's, that's the benefit now for the Lions, is they're completely healthy. The injury report at this point, I mean, you're missing Derek Barnes. That's probably the most significant player. Hopefully he can be back. But that's, that's another benefit of what the Lions have been able to do, Adam, is, is compared to other teams that have been healthy early in the season or suffering those injuries now, the Lions are getting healthier. And that's another reason why, on top of everything we just laid out, they're the most healthiest team. So um, that gives you even more faith moving forward. And they're getting healthier. Let me, let me ask you this. Uh, I think perspective matters a little bit this morning. Let's say the Lions were an AFC team. All right. Are you more confident in the Bengals or the Lions? Uh, Bengals. Uh, Titans or the Lions? Um, Ryan Tannehill injury, maybe that yeah, changes no, your Lions. mind this morning. I'm but go a week ago, you would say the Titans. Right. Baltimore or the Lions? Lions. I like that answer. Chargers and Dolphins. You're probably going both of those two teams. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even the Patriots. Complicated game. Jets, it's a toss-up even though you just beat them. But that was a close game, right? Then in the NFC, it's just the Niners and the Eagles. Yeah. I don't, I'm not scared of the Vikings. Oh, it's wide open. I'm not scared of Dallas. Dallas caught you at a good time earlier in the year. That's it. I don't forget. As frustrating as it was, I don't forget either. There is nobody in the NFC right now better than the Detroit Lions outside of the Niners, in my opinion, and the Eagles. And why wouldn't I believe in that? Why? There's seven, excuse me, six and one. They've won six of the last seven, Jeff. They're playing some of the hottest football, but also the most complete football. They're not turning the ball over. Do, they're doing all the little things we associate with winning teams, with contending teams. They're doing it. So why hide away from it? Why shy away from it? Giants at 8-5-1. and one. 
the Commanders at seven, six, and one, and then there's the Seahawks at seven and seven. Yeah, I'm so terrified. Yeah, you have I, a better quarterback. You have better off. You have a better entire offense, in my opinion. You have than than any of those teams. You have a better offense than of the seven playoff teams right now. You have a better offense than all of them except maybe two or three. Yeah. So you have the third or fourth best offense right now in that playoff picture. And your defense is probably middle of the pack. Middle Better the than pack. the Vikings. No, that's for sure. No, that's not saying much. But. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> seeing how they've been playing, my goodness. But uh, you see where I'm going this morning with right, that? I get it. And really the whole point of starting the show this way was, uh, why, why are we hiding a little bit? Uh, why is why is it that you know we're all a bit cautious? Down the, there's no need to be cautious. The facts are the facts. Jared Goff is playing at a Pro Bowl level. That's a fact. You've won six of seven. That's a fact. You're one of the hottest teams in the NFL. That's a fact. You have one of the five best offenses in the entire NFL. That's a fact. Your defense over the last three games is the best statistical team against the run. That's a fact. What, are, what am I waiting for here? Why am I, why am I, you know, why do I still have those uh, training wheels on a little bit? Why? What are we doing? I don't see the need to. They've earned it. They've changed it around. And maybe Burn is correct. Maybe it is Lions fan PTSD. I disagree, though. I don't think that should factor into this. Right. You know, I, I am. Again, I'm only 28. I'm a custom, as is Jeff, because we're roughly the same age. Mm-hmm. I'm a custom, as a Lions fan, to watching this team backdoor their way in, not look good down the stretch, get into the playoffs, and they're cold, and they lose. Yeah. I'm accustomed to this team never competing for the division. I'm accustomed to this team never showing up in the top 10 power rankings, even when they win 11 games. So, a lot of things are just different. And I don't know how to quantify that. I don't know how to put a number on it and say, this is why. Or this is how many games you win. I don't. But I know if I'm looking at all the teams in the NFC right now, I think the Lions are maybe third or fourth on that list in terms of best scenario, best roster, best future over the next three or five years. Yeah, no question. They're definitely top four in the NFC. Hell, I'd even rank them ahead of the Vikings. And I love Kevin O'Connell. You know I'm a big fan. But But they're a more complete team, in my opinion, than the Vikings. Vikings have, you know, stars. Justin Jefferson, You can't be 10-0 and 0 in one possession games. That's not repeatable. Yeah. If the Lions were 11-3 and 3 right now, I promise you, if the Lions were 11 and 3, we would be celebrating the North title. You would be on cloud nine, right? Everybody would be happy. You know what I would tell you? I would tell you this isn't sustainable. They need work in the offseason. They need help. They need to revamp the defense. They need to get a better offensive line. That's why I think they're frauds. Right? Yeah, I, I no, get it. That, that, and then I would be called a, a motherfucker. <laughs> and, you know, you just can't let us have good things. But the truth is. You sh- you can't go ten and zero in one possession games in one regular season. Just you guys remember the Lions? Eight of their nine wins came in fourth quarter comebacks under Caldwell yeah, that year. It's not sustainable when they made the playoffs. Yeah. That is not sustainable. The Vikings will not be a team that let's say they get into ten one possession games again next year. They're lucky if they go six and four. Yeah. Because that's typically how it goes for most teams. Welcome so. to the NFL. <laughs> it's hard to go ten and zero in one. Welcome to the games. NFL. Yeah. And if I do the numbers on that, well, then the Vikings are suddenly, what's their record? Seven and seven. And they didn't win the North. And you're suddenly tied with them. See where I'm going now? Yep, things change. That's why I would be more fearful of the Lions, because the way they can beat you. We've seen them blow out teams, so that's the difference. We haven't seen the Vikings do that. We've seen them get blown out. But we have not seen them blow out teams. Well, here's Lions what we'll are do. more terrifying to me than the I Vikings. agree. They I really do agree. Are.